So in the first workshop, we covered how to use the console, how to store variables, and what the class of a variable is. So begin by opening a new R script. So go to File, New File, R script, or you can press Control Shift N if you're on a Windows. And the difference between writing up here in a file and writing down here in the console is that if I type something down here, it works just like a calculator and it outputs the answer. However, if I want to fix a typo that I made, let's say I wanted to actually write 5 plus 4, I have to retype the entire thing. Or, alternatively, I can use the arrow buttons, press up as many times as you want to see the last operations that you performed. But if I type up here, then I can still have the console run the line of code, but it's saved up here. So if I made a typo, it's easy for me to go back and fix whatever I did wrong. When you type in the file and you want to run the line of code, you can press the run button and it will output down in the console. Or you can go to the line that you want to run and you can press control enter on a Windows or command enter on a Mac. So when you run it from the file, you can see that it still gets outputted down below, but the thing that you typed actually gets stored up here. Um, so if you use the console, it's basically just like using a calculator, whereas if you save it um, in a R script, then you could save this file and you could come back to it a week later and it would still be there and you could uh, take a look at what you did or change whatever you want very easily. So it's definitely recommended that you save things um, in an R script or in an R markdown file, which we'll talk about in um, another video. And make sure that you actually go ahead and save your file, because right now it's not saved. So if I were to exit this right now, um, I wouldn't be able to open that. So if you press Control S, you can call it whatever you want. And now it's saved as a file. Um, so now let's talk about storing a variable. So let's say I wanted to um, store the number 42. Um, I'd be, I would use this little arrow symbol to do that and then run the line of code. And then when I do that, I can see in here, well it should, it should be somewhere in here, but I have a lot of things saved so it might be hard to find, but here it is at the bottom, um, x is assigned 42. Um, alternatively, if I want to check what value is stored in x, I can type the variable itself and again hit control enter and I'll see that it's 42. Uh, now a, a question that's been commonly asked is what does this number one mean here? Um, so that's just telling you that that's the first line of output. So for example if I wanted to assign x is assigned the numbers 1 to 100 and then I wanted to print out x, see it has multiple lines that get printed out so that number one is just telling you that it's the um, the first element. Because in, uh, in this example there would be 100 elements. Um, now if I wanted to know what the class of x is, I can type class of x and it'll tell us that x is a number because we, we assigned it to 42. So it actually um, says that it's an integer which is odd because Normally, if you want to save something as an integer, as an integer in R, sorry, you have to put an L at the end of it. So if we do that, then it should say integer. Um, uh, but if we wanted to have, um, for example, something that wasn't an integer, we could do y is assigned 12.5, and then we can check what the class of y is. So if I run those two lines, now it tells us the class of y is numeric. You can also assign um, words to a variable, um, which is called a, a string. And to do that, you have to put it inside of quotes. So if we run these two lines, we'll see that the class of z, sorry, class of z is 
a um, a character, sorry, not a string. It's not what it's called in R. And if we take a look at Z, that's what it's saved as. So, um, something that's important to know is that if you want to perform operations on variables, they need to be the same class. So if I try to add y uh, plus z, we're going to get an error because we're trying to add um, a number to a sentence. So that doesn't really make sense intuitively and it also doesn't make sense to R. Um, one more type of variable that we might see um, is a bool. So that's something that can take on a, um, a true or false value. So in R, you can write uh, to write true, you can either write a capital T or the full word in caps. Um, and to write false, same thing, you can do a capital F or the whole word, word false in caps. So if we run these, and then we try to take a look at the class of G and the class of F, um, we'll see that their uh, class is logical. So just to recap, in workshop one, we talked about how to use the console as a glorified calculator, how to store variables, and how to find the class of a variable.